don't try to implement what you would do normally do with uh, object oriented programming methods don't try to just replicate a for loop using uh, using functional programming don't try to use switch cases like uh, in just functional programming there are certain concepts that are just unique to functional programming like you can use processes you can use states you can use agents like try to incorporate it as much into your in, into your solution as, as as much as possible this was a standard book like it, it uh, personally i felt i like, really liked the book so it's called xdocs and yeah, it's a standard it, it is the like proper lexi documentation um, we can find um, like for every concept in lexi there will be a proper uh, explanation like what is it there there will there will there also be some examples so also like there will be list of function which we can try it is for every concept and this sometimes this is also like self sufficient as you say we can just see read this documentation and try out elixir also has this feature of uh, called interactive shell where we can like install like c and c++ you need know, to write an entire program compile and then only you'll get a result but this is like python uh, like jupyter notebook you can uh, if you want to like try out a small block uh, you can you can use this iex it is called interactive shell and try out that particular statement alone you can the interactively see the output and this will also be helpful for beginners because they may not be sure how to write an entire program but if they're learning a new concept new but like for example enumism concept they want to try out particular uh, expression they can just try it out using iex which is elixir uh, like interactive shell and the installation process is also very simple so uh, the doc, there are like the, this documentation also explains how you need to install elixir and erlang and everything can be done with command line and if they have a proper editor like vs code which most of them have it is a very easy process they can easily like uh, start working with elixir the elixir yeah, forum yeah, okay so this is basically the equivalent of stack overflow for elixir even if you do not have any particular doubt i would really just advise others to just browse this uh, elixir forum and just see how uh, how people with years of experience in elixir have used it how they have uh, these are real world applications these are code from real world application so you can just you can just see how they have used it in their programs functional programming itself has so many features because it has pattern matching uh, and uh, its uh, own gen server uh, its own gen server concepts and uh, different different uh, synchronous uh, uh, systems and uh, state state management like uh, agents these are all come uh, came together and uh, um, make functional programming very strong yatra is a former who feeds the students the students which need the learning skills the real time problems which they have to work on those all kinds so i can uh, relate e entry with the former who do all the good things for the people uh, whenever you want to implement something just google it for at least 10 to 15 minutes and see if it has already been done in the language in a more effective way than what you are uh, thinking about Uh, so in our case like we did not know what agents were so we were figuring out how to use global variables and we were just passing them through the functions which is a very horrible way to do things actually but after uh, googling it uh, for a bit we learned ki okay so this is something we can use and it was very helpful in all the future tasks going ahead follow a few principles at least in your mind when you work with functional programming languages try to make things as modular and as isolated from each other as possible and uh, when you're debugging print statements are of course the bread and butter of debugging but also look into the iex editor uh, that will allow you to test functions uh, individually and look at the values of each variable instead of using a debugger so that is also another way to approach it which might help Recently, I have been reading the book called *Winds of Fire*, the uh, autobiography of uh, Abdul Kalam sir. Uh, Kalam sir c- describes the way how uh, his teacher molds him, how his teacher uh, introduces him to new technologies or new interests. Uh, Abdul Kalam sir has, like, somewhat uh, when thinking about doing well learning and. what experience we have gone through eentra i i thought there is some relevance in the approach what kalam sir has felt while he is under the guidance of edar solomon and now we are uh, feeling while competing while participating in this competition